These are the real side effects of taking peptides. Okay, so some peptides may produce these side effects. Some peptides do virtually nothing, positive or negative. The number one side effect I had was water fluctuation. Because of the growth hormone stimulation, I experienced swelling in my lower legs. Okay, so it's clear he's talking about growth hormone stimulating peptides, probably either ipermorelin, tessamorelin, CJC1295, or all of the above. Growth hormone does increase water retention by increasing sodium reabsorption. How do we mitigate this? So the easiest way is to, of course, just lower the dosage, but it's also possible to maintain your average weekly dosage while still attenuating fluid buildup. How? Weekly cycling protocols. So assuming these are peptides you administer daily, if you take periodic breaks during the week, even if you increase each dose slightly to where your weekly dose remains constant, administering the peptide, say five days on, two days off, or even two days on, one day off, will reduce water retention somewhat. Continuous GH receptor stimulation tends to accumulate more fluid than intermittent pulses. So the days off allow sodium levels to normalize. You know, it takes time for fluid to build up and the day off here or there, that interrupts that process. So MK677 isn't a peptide, but it is what I normally use to boost growth hormone and minimizing water retention is one reason why I always take at least two days off during the week.